AAA developers, they, they basically grew the industry to the point where indie games can exist uh, because the market's so big now that, that you know you can just you can make a more uh, you know punk rock game and, and uh, you know there there are people out there who will play it. If I'm going to be making games, I want to be exploring things that other people aren't already doing. There's already enough people solving those problems. I'm a very creative person, let's see what else I can do. And so, the more you have people going towards like, you know, realism, AAA, big budget kind of things, to me, I was like, that just leaves a big gap for all of the people that aren't being served, you know, in their little, you know, niches and things like that. And we're seeing that, you know, with like, as everyone's pushing towards Facebook games and free to play, all that's doing is just opening up all of these little pockets for another game to come along and fit them in, you know, fit in and have all of these people be like, wow, you know, here's a game that serves my needs again because I don't fit into the mainstream you know, audience. I'm one of the people that looks for games that you know, fill all these little pockets that aren't currently being served. Every gamer, every developer, even everyone who's even learned how to program or 3D art, they all want to create the game that they want to play. Every single person who got into programming, or not even 99.9% all the people who got into programming for gaming, they did because they have their own creativity that they want to put into a game, and that's a way to do it. If you can do it, go for it. And really, in this modern day, that bar of if you can do it on your own is getting so low with digital distribution, online downloads. I mean, you don't even, before, the reason publishers got critical in the industry was because there's no way an indie can afford box sets of games to put on retail shelves. But now in the modern industry, you don't need that. So the most important critical element of a publisher is no longer critical. And now, even with viral marketing especially, viral marketing and digital distribution and just being able to eat ketchup and crackers for a little while to finish your game, and right there, you don't need a publisher anymore. Yeah, the point of this game is pretty much to run but it's just hard. There's no way to beat this without checkpoints. You gotta be a fucking madman. I, I wasn't dreaming. I never remembered my dreams. And now I have a theory that in my sleep, I just iterate on level design. Oh man. Because I'll be sitting there not doing anything and boop, this idea, like this fully formed idea, like a, a, not just an idea, but like a level design, a specific structure will just pop into my head and I'll put it in the editor and it works right away. And like, how is this even possible? That's because fucking... level design for this game is complicated. Yeah. Usually it's trial and error, but every now and then these things would just materialize. So I think that all I do in my sleep is just work. I think it's really, really, really important to continue to push the bounds of what we can do creatively with the medium. And, you know, for various valid or not reasons, um, it's very, very hard to do that when, you know, tens of millions of dollars are on the line, right? And I can, I can understand that, I guess. Um, so, but in the indie space, that's totally something you have far, far more freedom to do. And that creative freedom is really, really important. Something that is, I think, one of the, the, the reasons why indie games are so interesting right now is because we kind of creatively can take risks that either the large companies won't or can't. And there is a danger that everyone thinks they have to go work for a publisher. I think it's fine to do that if you don't want to think. Like if you want to think and be creative, then you should do that first because if it doesn't work out, you can always do the other thing. It's not like the one door closes up because you try to do something creative and risky. 